Questions of Doom. Hello and welcome back to another Questions of Doom. In this series, as ever, I attempt to answer questions that you send my way using the archaeosoup at gmail.com email address, as displayed on the YouTube channel homepage, or alternatively, as you will see at the end of this video. Um, and it is my fond hope that in making these answers available by video, the answer is made useful not only to those who have asked the question, but also anyone else out there who may find the answer useful. Uh, today's question comes from Trowels with a Z, 81. And uh, <clears throat> he or she, I'm not quite sure which, says, Dear Mr. Soup, I was wondering if you could help me with something. I was watching my favourite, much repeated crime drama on Channel 5 the other day. Hmm, which one could that be? And thought, and sorry, and the thought occurred to me. Is not archaeology a forensic science? Why do we not, therefore, see archaeologists in sterile clothing or hazmat suits at the scene of the crime, as it were? You have said in previous videos that archaeology revolves around minute observations, as with some of, as with my favourite drama. Therefore, to what extent is the integrity of the scene guarded, as with the crime scene investigation squads? Should it be? Your thoughts would be much appreciated. Cheers, Trowels81. Well, Trowels81, you ask a very good question, and I must admit, on the face of it, I was thinking, well, actually, um, yes, I suppose, I suppose archaeology is a forensic science in that respect, um, <clears throat> or in many respects. But actually, when you start to look at it, the, the answer is really rather complicated. So first of all, often we think about forensic science as being a scientific or series of scientific endeavours which uh, contribute to one narrative using minute observations and um, uh, the, the best techniques to come up with the most accurate results. And uh, if you take forensic science to mean that, then yes, archaeology could be counted as being a forensic science. Um, however, when you actually look at what, what is forensic science, uh, forensic science actually is specifically linked with um, with criminal proceedings. Uh, the, the, the word forensic has its roots in uh, forensis, which um, is of or before the forum. Um, in other words, uh, the place of trial in Roman times and preparing for that trial. So uh, in that sense, um, forensic science is about building a case. Uh, and archaeology isn't necessarily about building a case. There's no defendant in mind, and usually there isn't a point to prove. Um, uh, on an archaeological excavation, the excavation proceeds often because of questions which have been asked, but the questions will probably or usually be modified by the findings, and, uh, and eventually something new will be discovered. We're uncovering something different. Uh, we're, we're asking essentially why, and not necessarily prove that, that this happened because this person did it. Um, so in that sense, um, the goals of forensic science and archaeology are actually um, different. Um, although uh, they, uh, they may look very similar um, in terms of their techniques and how they go about in a, in, in a collegiate way achieving those goals, um, the, the, actual, the specifics of the goals are, are very uh, disparate, they're very, very different. Um, so, uh, and, and in so much as in archaeology there is, an, there, is a, there is a site to be investigated and discovered, in forensic science there is a scene, uh, a crime, and an answer which is needed. And the answer usually has to be fairly definitive, um, because often it's linked with life or death decisions. So, so in terms of goals, forensic science, uh, or rather archaeology, is not a forensic science. Um, archaeology is, is an exacting science, but it's not a forensic science. Um, the second aspect, I suppose, which is worthwhile mentioning, is um, methods and, uh, and philosophy. Um, uh, the, whole, uh, uh, the whole realm in which uh, the, these, these different um, disciplines work is usually the world of science. So uh, often laboratories are very similar in terms of their setup, what we can analyse is very similar. Um, but the, you ask about the, uh, the, the need for clothing to protect the integrity of an archaeological site. This isn't necessarily um, needed on, a, on, a, on an archaeological site because, first of all, the evidence that a crime scene investigator might look for isn't necessarily visible. Things like blood splatter, bodily fluids, um, fibre samples, fingerprints. These aren't necessarily uh, to be found on an archaeological site. So in that respect, um, the, the people who do the digging are, don't have to wear those things because they're not having to preserve something which has just occurred. 
Um, however, what I would say is that when those things are found, if, for example, in the case of, we recently looked at Spittle Fields, where they found um, uh, very well-preserved um, caskets uh, with bodies in and nameplates on, in those sort of situations, of course, extra care is taken, and arguably, in some cases, more care than would be taken on a crime scene. Um, but in terms of... Um, the need for for the methods to be the same uh, it's probably not the same it's probably not so necessary um, because uh, the evidence which is being recorded and, and why it's being recorded um, isn't quite the same although detail as ever is important now um, <clears throat> many observations in uh, in archaeology uh, are actually very subjective and um, they can't necessarily be repeated um, and uh, whereas uh, many observations in a forensic science um, uh, f uh, forum are actually uh, based upon scientific principles, uh, for example, uh, for example, blood splatter, or for example, um, you know, gun residue, or whatever. Obviously, I'm only going off the shows that I've seen as well, but. These are uh, principles which are based upon physics and based upon um, on known quantities, known parameters which can be tested, repeated, and therefore proved to have occurred in a certain way. Um, this is not necessarily um, valid for archaeology. Um, as uh, Shanks and Tilly uh, rather famously pointed out, archaeologists aren't... Um, Oh, they aren't detectives. We're not the Sherlock Holmeses of history. Um, in, uh, in a Sherlock Holmes novel, Sherlock is able to cut through the mist of a crime with, uh, with scientific observations, with, uh, with um, uh, a piercing intellect, and come to a truth. Whereas often, um, in the case of archaeology and archaeologists, um, a site will result in many different interpretations because what we're dealing with is not just what happened and who did it, but why it happened. Um, what are the reasons behind it? What, are the, what is the culture behind it? And often these cultures simply won't be compatible with a positivistic, scientific um, uh, uh, analysis. So while uh, the scientific analysis is important to give the context for interpretation, the subjectivity of an archaeological site, not past cultures, means that um, we're not actually creating one known thing. We're actually, um, essentially, we're, just, we're creating... Um, histories, not a history. Uh, if you ask any archaeologist about any site, they'll give you subtly different interpretations, and this is because these things um, aren't, they're not uh, uh, A plus B equals C. They are very much, we have A, we have B, uh, what might C mean? And I suppose that's another element where forensics, forensic science and archaeology uh, are very similar, but, but they do uh, differ. Um, now, <clears throat> I have made some notes on this, just because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything else. So I, I shall just check my notes to see if there is anything that I have missed out. Bah, 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 bah. Hmm. No, I think that's pretty much it. So, essentially, <clears throat> when it all boils down to it, what, well, or what, rather, what I've been waffling on about are the two main elements here, uh, which I think um, are the 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 the, the comparative. Um, levels on which we can actually compare and also contrast archaeology and the goals of forensic science. Um, in terms of the goals and, and uh, the, the, uh, the reason for doing it, archaeology and forensics are, are different. Um, they both want to answer questions, but um, the uh, forensics uh, aspect has an end goal in mind, that is someone must be found guilty or the case will remain open. In archaeology, the case, as it were, the crime scene isn't really, you're not trying to find out a person or trying to convict someone or trying to mount a case, you're trying to construct a whole world and therefore um, that analysis uh, thankfully can go on almost indefinitely and, uh, and is subject to modification over time. Whereas, um, uh, thankfully, also in forensics, if you if you're able to prove someone guilty, uh, usually um, if the evidence is good, they are guilty, and that's there's not really a debate going on because it's a physical uh, um, absolute. Often, anyway, often. Um, <clears throat> in terms of the methods and philosophy, I would say that yes, you're quite right. Um, clothing is possibly needed in some cases. For example, in uh, when um, uh, protective clothing may be necessary in a, in a site where uh, the, the 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 environment itself may be um, poisonous or in somehow somehow dangerous to people, or indeed in those rare instances where the find is so remarkable that we don't want to uh, we don't want to contaminate it. But again, uh, this is a contrast in so much as the goals of forensic science are to log everything 
as has just occurred and um, to keep it almost in a in a stasis so that it can be observed and scrutinized to to find the truth of something um, and I suppose in terms of the philosophy that which is which is connected to the methods truth is the point and um, forensics are very much trying to find a, a truth they're trying to find what occurred who did it how when why whatever and um, in archaeology <clears throat> Uh, most archaeologists are quite happy to concede that uh, there is not necessarily one truth, or at the very least, well, there is, there will be, because obviously something occurred, but we won't necessarily be able to see it all the time, um, because uh, we're dealing with cultures, we're dealing with people who are so far removed from ourselves, again, often, um, that our logic and our way of scrutinising a site may not actually reveal um, uh, what is there. Um, if you uh, if you listen to um, uh, uh, archaeologists talking about um, causewayed in causewayed enclosures, for example, in the Neolithic, you'll get lots of different opinions. Uh, even though the evidence, um, from a forensic standpoint, is fairly constant, the interpretation is subject to change and variation. So uh, I've tried to make this video short, sharp and sweet and um, uh, essentially open up uh, the forum to you guys to comment below. Uh, those are the ideas that, that I've come up with really, the, 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 the points where you can com compare and contrast forensics and archaeology, the goals of forensics, the methods of, uh, 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 of forensics and the uh, philosophy I suppose behind forensics and archaeology um, are, uh, are, are similar but crucially different. And therefore, um, in answer to your question, uh, Trowels81, I would have to say that no, technically speaking, technically, archaeology is not a forensic science. Um, <clears throat> however, uh, the comparison is very valid and also a very good one to consider. Um, so now I'll leave it to uh, all you wonderful people out there in uh, YouTube land to consider this. Um, feel free to comment below. Uh, there's already been some comments on the Archaeo Super Facebook page, and uh, I look forward to seeing how this unfolds a bit really um, but uh, yeah it's a very interesting question well worth considering um, and uh, and absolutely the, the 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 whether or not the ma the minute observations that archaeologists make turn us into a CSI squad or um, or possibly something more uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, yes I'll, I shall go now and let you guys discuss below and until next time bye bye <laughs>